Hi guys and welcome to another YouTube video, Big G here and uh, today, as promised, I'm going to run through how I've been making these cars using the game Automation, alright, so uh, there's a lot of parameters and stuff involved in making one of these cars, so we're going to take some time and design a car. Um, so we've got to click on Car Designer, there is a campaign to this, so you have to start your own Basically, to start your own car company and build it your own way. But uh, me, I just kind of enjoy that the building process. As you see, I've got another eight cars here that I've built. Uh, some of these cars, except for these two here, have made it into my last two videos. But anyway, let's go into Car Designer. We're going to create a new car model. Yeah, I guess a good start. You have to work out what you want to build, or what way do you want to go, you want like a small car, or a super car, muscle car, basically yeah, just find a design and give it a shot. You know, I was going through some of these designs yesterday, and I did find a car body I wouldn't mind tapping into, so I'll just wait for it to load. Oh, you can make some beautiful designs out of this. Here we go. So there we go. We got all these car lists. If you think that's not a bad start, it just keeps on going in some areas. So I didn't realize this slide bar was here. So of course, there's a lot of these cars I missed until recent. Um, but anyway, I'm looking for a unique design which I found let's have a look right. looking for oh, something like this I was looking for like a to make a like a um like a van type car We go see what we got. Wow, there's a lot of cars. So many of them back here. There we go. This could take a while just just looking at the desi different designs. Yeah, maybe something like that. You know. So, we get more cars down here. More and more. There's so many body types. And don't forget, there's also Steam Workshop as well. More mods. There's a death update. Some of the mods are, have to be redeveloped by their creators, but uh, most of them are still working. Here we go. Um, I want something like that, yeah. But bear in mind, they'll give you a design of the car, whether it be two, three door, two door, four door, the car's length. So there's lots of different versions. Which are pretty handy. Um, which also is handy to note too, depending on what size engine you're throwing into the car as well. But, but I'll tell you all that in a minute, or we'll get into it. Um... So we're at, it starts in 2011, goes back to the 1940s, so there's a lot of, a lot of cars to check through. You make your sedans, your hot hatches, all sorts of cars. They also did a, a update at the moment too, where you can make a V16 engine. I've worked with a couple of these bodies as well. They're not bad looking bodies. I, and then you just put your own design into them, which is pretty cool. Uh, I am looking for a particular shape. 
here we go, something like this. We're getting there. Might be in the right area actually. Daisy series. What was the shape I was really keen on actually? Yeah, here we go. We got here 2.9 meters, 2.7. Point five, yeah. No, I think I wanted the two point nine. All right, you select your uh, your, your car series. Okay, next. All right, so you've got your car now. There you go. Let's so start off with your panel material. We're going to go with a bit of um, partial aluminum. Uh, we'll go monocoque, uh, chassis material. Uh, I'll make it carbon, uh, include aluminium. Yeah, this is where it fucking got me the first game when I made my first car. Transverse and longitudinal. So basically, transverse is basically your front front wheel drive. And so front long wheel, I'll call it long wheel. Um, so that's front engine, and I'll call it rear wheel drive. Or you can have your engine at the back. Or you're going to have your mid rear drive. So, nope, we're going to go for the front. Front engine, rear wheel drive, we're going to give it double wishbone suspension at the front. And we're going to give it a uh, solid coil leaf at the back. So, click on that, and that's our body setup. There we go. That button there is going to come very important later. You choose the quality of the material, but if you do that, the more quality you add, the more... As you can see up here, the material cost when you're actually playing the game for the campaign. So this is your material costs already. Okay, so now we can make an engine. We can choose an existing engine. We can clone one. Um, how about we, we make a new engine? New project. Alrighty, so now we're going to decide what we're going to do for inline engine, V6, V8. We're going to go with an I... Six, a six inline, inline six engine. We'll make it naturally aspirated with a Mark One. Alrighty, so well, the rest of it, I six, MK one. Here we go. So we're going to create a brand new box. Alrighty, so we've got inline, we've got V six. And 60 degree angle, V, and 90 degree angle, and then your, your boxer engine. So we're going to go with one of these. We'll make it a six cylinder. Uh, we can get more depending on what material, what kind of engine you want to go for. I find that the, the, the 60 degree V series makes a more of a muscle car type sound, where the 90 degree is more of your high performance. Now, this little button up here tells you how much of the engine bay you'll have used up so it's telling me now we're not going to be able to make a front wheel drive so all wheel drive four wheel drive and rear wheel drive this engine will be a lot more beneficial for all right so we might make it a little bit bigger i did forget to change that from cubic inches to uh liters but uh that's roughly a four liter engine right there uh we go that could be a 4 litre, 4.2. Um, I was going to change that, but uh, I don't think I can change that in the settings right now. Alrighty, so headers and valves. We're going to have a uh, dual overhead cam. We'll have two per cylinder. Oh, we'll make it oh, aluminium. Here we go. So that's the start of our, our engine. I have forgotten something. Ah, block material. We'll make it uh, 
aluminium as well. There we go. Or look here from America, aluminium. All right, we're gonna have a forged steel crank. We'll make it light forged. Uh, piston, lightweight forged. Uh, do we need a harmonic damper? You can read all this as you go along. Uh, do, we, do you want one? Do we want one? We'll go with none. All right. There we go. Compression, cam profile. This could take a bit of fun, actually. I wouldn't mind upping the RPM. Seven, two. Make it a bit higher. Get a sports profile. Here we go. A bit of quality. Alrighty, so far so good. We can make it naturally aspirated, so no turbo is needed. Uh, we can make it recovery, four barrel carburetor, make it a twin barrel. I can be bigger. Want some performance, manifold size. Yeah, that looks good. Look at that. Some motor so far. I'm going to give it leaded fuel. Remember, this is a little bit fantasy as well. We know we don't get leaded fuel in Australia anymore, but uh, it's an old school car. It's going to have leaded fuel. Um, I don't think I want to touch this too much, but so far, so good. Over here, this will tell us if we've got any issues with the car. Uh, headers. Here we go. Pass the valves. No, exhaust size. We'll up that a little bit. So the exhaust is 3.8 inches. We'll make it four. Here we go. Four inch exhaust. <laughs> um, reverse flow. Reverse flow. All right. Now we got our first issue. Crank has failed due to excessive RPM. Okay. And of course, the engine reliability is too low to sell. So we're going to have to lower the RPM. All right, let's see what works. Wow, okay. That's a lot of RPM I have to drop. Okay, so... Crank is getting a bit better. Okay, crank, crank, crank. Bottom end. Like a bullet steel. Make them in titanium. Quality will raise that. Cam profile. I guess it does not like me raising that. Okay, so the crank's in the green at 3,600 RPM. Alrighty. So it's not locking me to raising the compression. Retarded timing, alright. Drop that back down. I do like to raise the RPM a bit more though. I need a richer fuel map. Lower compression. Far. Mm -hmm. Keep him there. 
All right, so the crank's a little bit cranky. <laughs> All right, let's see. Yeah, idealistic on trying to keep it around six thousand RPM. Crank has failed you, think it's RPM. Try reducing the RPM limit to improve the crank. All right. We'll leave it there. Move right along. So it's going to be naturally aspirated. Twin carby. Run along through the exhaust. All right, so now we can actually paint the exhaust. Wanna paint the engine, all that kind of stuff. There we go. We're happy with that. Trim cover. Trim cover chrome. Here we go. And give it some chrome bolts as well. We want to pretty this thing up. So yeah, you can just have fun painting your. Uh, Engine to make it look nice. I right. trim. Oh, whatever. Air filter. <laughs> now we'll leave that as it is. It looks air filter doesn't need to be touched. So here we go. So here we get get to turn the engine on. So that's our engine. Are we happy with that? We can go back and change that. Or we can leave it as it is. Kind of does sound a bit gutless. So we can either choose to go back and really work on our, our donk, or we can leave it as it is and see what, what, what will happen. Yes, yeah, right, it doesn't like low compression, does it? a richer fuel map. Alright. If we do that, a bit more quality. Did improve the crank. The crank is absolutely awesome. Crank. Oh, it's still, yeah. Forge steel, maybe? Ah, so it has to be that. Okay, maybe we're using a harmonic damper. Just change this game right completely. Now we're getting the high RPMs. All right, we'll leave it at 7,900. I'll play with that now. All right, let's turn this motor on. Now that sounds a lot better. Now we've got a high performance engine. Yep, we want to use this car. Okay, so the next step is enable body morphing. Now what we can do now is it will tell us parts of the car that we can basically edit. So we'll start off with the front. So we can go here, we'll bump around a bit. Move that in. There you go, that looks pretty cool. Right, I'm going to use the car a bit further forward. My head. Bring that in a little bit more. Bring those out, fuck yeah. 
All right, we're gonna nice out. I wonder if I can bring that down. Huh. Bring that in. Put the window a bit further further back. There we go. Yeah, no, I like how that how it was. Bring that in a bit more. Yeah, better. Bring that in. That's a bit better. So I'd like it to be lower. Oh, we'll make a bit more of that like that. So yeah, now we've got the shape that we would want to go for and starting to really take form how you want it. We move along. We can also add some quality to the body as well. There we go. So we want to leave it red for now so we can go back and play with some of the bits and pieces. But first we want to skip the fixtures. And go right through and finish the car off. Before we start playing with it. Alright, so we'll skip that step first. Alright, so we're going to make it a uh, real drive. Make a manual. Um, what transmission we're going to go for? Make an old fashioned four speed. We'll get a top speed of 250 or 260. Alrighty, uh, get the spacing. So, first gear 84. Oh, fuck no. Okay, 59, that sounds better. Uh, so we're making an old, an old fashioned. Oh, I reckon that's got to be longer now. That looks too short? I don't know. I don't like the height, but I want it to be longer, I reckon. So, manual, manual lock and trend, uh, diff on the back of the car here. Doing a quality. Uh, radial tyres, we give it. Medium compound? I'll give it quartz compound. By width, ah, oh, yeah, this is where we get a bit of fun. I like making the back tires really wide on this car. That front's there. So, if we're going to make a beautiful car, we'll make the tires a bit wider at the back. Front's not too bad, we'll make them 19s. There we go. Actually, they were better at 16s, didn't they? 17s. Oh, oh that's, that's the front there. Really wide 17s. There we go. Now we've got a car. Beautiful. So, make them alloy rims. Give them a little bit of extra quality. Alright, so, okay. We're going to go with a vented disc with two pistons. Make these as large as possible. Uh, same with the rear vented, two piston. This means this car is going to stop on the spot. Um, give them race pad tyres. Uh, well, race pads, brake pads. Probably Bendex brand, maybe, I don't know. There we go. Starting to look like a car now. Okay. Off road skid tray, cooling flaps. Cooling is a paramount. In most of my cars, so there we go. Get my air cool too. Alright, so it's going to be a two-seater, of course, so we don't, we're not going to worry about that. We'll give it a standard interior, luxury hard. Because that's only an option I've got on me. Cool. Uh, manual rack and pinion with ABS. We'll get a quality there. Uh, we're going to advance 2010's kind of safety. Make it a little bit lighter and wait at the front. Uh, not too worried about the. Uh, it's Aussie, so it's going to be up to the off road. So now these are all your stats. Oh, here we go. We've got another red flag. Car's weight and lack of power steering submission reduces the drivability and come on. Try adding, a, try adding power steering. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go back one. Um, hydraulic rack and pinion. 
Front dampers are too hard. We'll get rid of these later. That's, that's, I don't mind that. Car has issues with wheel spin, reducing drivability. I'm consider adjusting the rear grip. I'm okay with that. It was half what we're building an Australian car, so that's okay. Um, so we're gonna go further again. Ah, here we go. So this is your stats. You can change all these. All these parameters you can change. Um, over here, and we are going to lower the car. Dramatically lower the car. There we go. There we go. Look at that. Look how nicely that tire doesn't fit under there. <laughs> so, of course, you can change all these. Um, there's some of these parameters I don't know much about. So, happy with how things are going. We can go for a pre spit. So, we'll go for a comfort. There we go. I'm still going to lower that car. Lower it. Yep. Up and down. Here we go. So this is where you have some fun. Yeah, name your car and everything like that. So design markets. So if you're still playing on um, the campaign, this is where you check out what your car stats are like and uh, your total sales and shit like that. So let's go to detail stats. So here we go. Here's all your detail stats on the car. Hold is 20 litres. Oh my god, that's not too bad. Repair costs, service costs. So these are all your stats for your car. The car's going to cost $64,000 to produce. And then you can also take it to a test track and give you a time and all that stuff. But we're going to do this ourselves at on Beam MG anyway. So we're going to... Basically, here you go. Power, 320 horsepower, 6,000 RPM. Red lines at 7,900. Bottom end, 272 cubic inches, inline 6. Top end, DOHC 12, compression, fuel, naturally aspirated 4 barrel. So there's all your big stats there. Weight, 600, 1,629. Full speed manual, double wishbone suspension with, with rear axle coil, rear wheel drive. There we go, there's all your cool little stats right there. Alright, um, of course, then you click on here and then you can either save the car and export the car to Beam MG, which is pretty easy to do, but we haven't, we've forgotten one crucial step. We want to add the fixtures. We want to make this car look cool. We want to add it bits and pieces. We are going to start off with the headlights. So we can all these different pieces. Remember, there are mods available. Where are we going to go with? I reckon something like that. Give this beast a bit of a. Uh... There you go. Just add them in there, they will mold themselves in like that. Of course, you can move them around. This is probably the most time consuming part of the actual build itself. Here we go. Probably before you put your indicators and stuff in, you want to put all your vents and stuff in as well. And of course, doing your floors, your interior, all that kind of stuff. Um, sorry, so there your headlights are in. Got next, you got your tail lights. You can chuck all them in now. Have a look what you want to go with. Something like that, maybe. Move it around and see what, what seats you. You want them high, you want them low. You reckon they sit it's sitting there? You still got a lot of parameters to play with. Just go around and see what lights suit you. But before we get into that, there's another thing we gotta do, which is the interior. Alright, so first thing I like doing, which I watched a YouTube video on doing, 
reason why you want to move that in is because we're about to do the floor. So for all this to work, we need a floor. So we're going to do that. Real lip spoiler. Ah, interior dirt. Alright, so we need a uh, floor. That's easier to do it from the side. But you'll have to clip up the top like this. Oh, uh, it did fit. So, put that down. Yeah, like that. Yeah, it's gonna clip in. Have to be perfect, but it will go in. Here you got this 3D button over here, so you can move it in, down, that clear aligned, nope, not quite, there we go. And bear in mind you will have seats and stuff in here. So, okay, can I let go that again? skinnier because if you go here and mirror it there you go so you got your interior in make sure it fits inside the body yeah perfect oh beautiful it's in nicely rid of the body so you want to put in your interior now like you was a two-seater these seats are up next. Got a bit of a gap in there. Oh. Close that off. There we go. That looks nice, nice and neat. Alright, so next on the agenda would be, be a dashboard. Go with a dash. What do you want to go over with that? Wood grain dash. Computerized. We'll go for the wood grain dash. Car like that. You want to ch keep checking it with the body. Uh, so, get closer. Have a look at the body on the car. So, you want to check to see if it fits behind the parcel shelf there. So, you want to make that back a bit more into the interior like that. I was going to sit like that a bit. There we go. We have a dashboard. inside the car. Okay, so we want to make this a little bit wider. Hang on. Not poking out the car. No, nope. good, good, good. There we go, there's your dashboard. Alright, let's get a steering wheel with. What kind of steering wheel do I want to go with? Something like that, or something like that. Do that one. So each time, we have to put this in from the top. So, there. Bad. Wrong one.
go. The one I have a slight tilt to it. There we go. That's not quite lined up. Now it is. Put that in a bit more. And you're happy with it, of course. There you go. You got yourself a steering column. Next on that list would be, I guess, we'll go with the seat to go with it. Okay. So the seats kind of just fit snugly. It's cool. You can actually, oops. Come on. What we can do now is... Oops. Well, come on. Thank you. Get in a little bit. Alright, so now they fit a bit better. Oops, not that one. Didn't get the seat again. Oh, made me like that. And mirror, there you go, you got your two seats in there. Beautiful, look at that. Next on that list, the. If you really want to go all out and put your seat belts in, you can if you want, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, what am I looking for? Here we go. Looking for... Gear shifter. That's an automatic one, isn't it? Yeah, it is. We don't want that. No, we want a manual gear shifter. Huh. Uh, wait till I just go in here. Yep. Uh, I did that one before, so you might, might chuck in this one. Not to be flash. Already, um. I hate this thing around here. I want to go... No, I don't want to do that. Down. Oh, it is flat. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right, so there's your gear shifter. <laughs> oh, you can even make door trims and everything like that as well. So, if you want to out of the car, there you go. Something look like it's got a dash. It's got interior. Uh, see, a lot of the time, if you really wanted to. Uh, just go here and just make the windows all black and you can't see in or you can add transparency but we're not going to do that we want we want to see in the car so we want some transparency so now we're going to do something about the floor got a floor to do now got a wheel wheel partial shelf Roof and pillars, so all, all kinds of stuff. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know what the hell it's supposed to be doing there. Uh, hello? Uh, I know what you're doing, but you're not going to be sitting there for too long. Yeah. Uh, nope. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I think we're just going to delete that and start again. Alright. We'll go for a parcel shelf instead. There we go. Much better. What are you doing? Thank you. I don't want that shape. Thank you. That's better. What the hell are you doing? Uh, that's better. Now go down. Make it longer. There we go. Make it a floor. I haven't finished yet. Where are you going? Yeah, better. Right to the back seat. Make that down a little bit more. There we go. Oh, okay. So I reckon if we put the body back, that should cover the whole floor. Not quite. We need to make it wider. Okay, that's cool. Now we're getting somewhere. Put them back out the side. Goes right to the rear seats. Uh, needs to come back towards me a bit more. Okay, it doesn't go through the back. Not going through my. Oh, still going through my seats. Hang on. There we go, it's right to the back lights. We're going through the seats. Ah. Oh. Okay, I have to make that slightly. Better. Much better. Put you back on. Alright, so, yep, cool, cool. We could probably put a cage in the back of there, but we're not going to worry about that. It needs to go wider, though. Ah, oh. oh, started coming out of the panel, but that's, that's not bad, that's not bad. That's about as wide as it's going to get. Alright, so there you go. There's your floor, there's your interior. Basic example, of course. Uh, so there, that's your... Kind of about as basic as you're going to get it, really. That's not too bad. You can, Like I said, you can add the door trim and stuff. Like, just to give thing a basic interior. Alright, so you can fall around with that. There's your car. Let's play with the outside. So we've got headlights. But, uh, let's... Well, there, that's where we put tail lights on. That one's got indicators in. We can also add exterior indicators as well. Um, but before we do that, let's... We've done interior, we've done all the indicators on the back. Oops, let's play with that. Um, so maybe if you wanted to put indicators on the side. Well, some cars have them here. Um, we can use a uh, teardrop versions. Actually, nope. I'll delete those and just add them up there. There you go. 
go. You got the indicators on the side. A lot of cars use that. All right, so next up is Le Grill. Grill, yep. Um, been looking at different designs. We'll go with one of these. Also come with indicators as well. It's pretty cool. Add that on, make it go wider, and that should mold in. There we go. Sometimes it can go wider. Yeah, there we go. If you want, go up here, something like that. Grill on the front. There you go. You can add bumper bars and all that kind of stuff. We're not going to worry about that. Um, what's that? Vents now. Vents, if you want to add them to the side of your car. Um, or at the front. Okay, we'll put a vent on the side here. Bent right there. From all over your car, from on the bonnet. Uh, we haven't done anything to the scoop yet, but uh, we'll, work, we'll go through this first. Morph the bonnets. Uh, make that longer. Hold your water. There we go. Let's do vents. Put them anywhere you want, really. There you go. Once you sat down. All right. So next on the list is scoops. Been through the scoops. <laughs> Adding a sunroof, we can add a sunroof if you wish. Uh, okay, let's get a sunroof. This one is actually half open. I like these ones. There you go. And of course, you can add as many of those as you want. Okay. Lip, do we want a lip on the front of the car? Um, I do want to use a diffuser. And they just basically mold straight into the back of your car. There you go. That's, that's steady. There you go. You use a rear diffuser. We don't worry about the lip on the front of this thing. Uh, spoilers, wings. You can have different type of wings, but we're not going to worry about those. There's some of the ideas you can use. Uh, you got 3D stuff here as well. You can mold to the side of your car if you want, or any. I see you got any ideas. Uh, let's go with fuel cap. We'll put a fuel cap on the side of the chuck one down here. Uh, uh, one here, yeah. There we go. Fuel cap on the side of the car. Doors. There's plenty of door handles. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use these ones. I can sit on there. We'll go on both sides. And being that she is a three door, we'll grab one of this one. Sit it there. Oh, we can open the tailgate. There we go. Still not sold or completely on the lights yet. Um, mirrors. We've got tons of mirrors to use. Uh, the silver ones, I reckon. Put them on the side here. Bring them out a little bit. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. It's starting to take shape now. It's starting to look like a car. Body molding parts. If you want to do a bit more body molding, you can go through these and have a bit of fun. That's what the idea is. Basically, it's basically that fun. It's just on the, on the roof here. Give, give the roof a bit more character. 
Uh, number plates. Okay, I'm not going to worry about one on the back, but I'm going to put one on the... Ah, uh, it's on the front, but I'm going to put one on the back. Alrighty, so... Here we go, here's your number plate. Bumper bars, if you want to use them. I don't think we want to use a bumper, do we? No, I don't think we want to use a bumper. But I'll tell you what, we can probably get... Uh, where is it? Where is it? Here we go. Get one of these. Get to the front. Here we go. That one. Uh, there. I can mirror it. There we go. A little bit of front protection. Um, also, if you want to add uh, strips, metal strips on your car, where to find them, so you can get them on, like so. Alright, so what I want to do is lengthen that and add it to your door. Change the angle a little bit, make it longer. This is probably the most time consuming part of the car, is adding the metal strips on, so you like that. And then you mirror it for the other side as well. Um, oops, it's a bit too long. So yeah, this is a bit fiddly, but you can start adding strips in your car. Okay, mirror it on the other side, thank you. Next one. Go make it longer. And they will actually uh, mold around the car, so when you make them longer. So for example, there you go. You're just when you're happy with it. Mirror it on the other side. There you go. You just have a middle strip on your car. You need one bit more. So another middle strip right here. Minimize it. Okay, happy with it, you hear it, there you go, so now you got a middle strip running down the car, a little bit of a feature, probably have done one, do one on the bottom or whatever, so there's some ideas to, if you want to just have some fun with it, so I'm going to have to move the uh, cap, there we go, you can probably just put middle strips along, along here and just keep going give you some ideas alrighty so we've done metal strips done that done the bumpers you've got your badges and decals so if you want to add them onto your car you can okay your text so if you want to put some lettering on your car for example alright so there's your chrome text right here so, for example, your maker's name, I'll put my uh, name on there. Here you go. Put that on the front of your car to represent your uh, car's name, manufacturer, whatever. Here you go, you can do that to the back of the car as well. small obviously there you go uh, you can use all different types of ideas for example um, I 
my six there. I've got a little sign. So it's a uh, inline six. There you go. So you've got my manufacturer, you got that. Oh, there's six, you can do it anywhere on the car. The names and shit. Pretty good. So, so far we're getting there. Um, here's your littering, where you got your favourites there. Wheels are your next one. We can either keep those, or we can change them. Uh, these are not bad ones either, so I we'll, might put those on. Exhausts. Doesn't matter where you put the exhaust. The, uh... Game will automatically snap it on. So we'll go for a dual exhaust tip. Twins, twin setup. Chuck them in there. And then we can choose to get rid of character. Here's your exhaust tip. Uh, then we got other bits and pieces in here, like uh, windscreen wipers. On the tailgate. There we go. Put one on the front of the car. We're going for this single wiper setup, like the uh, supercars. Uh, okay, make that longer so it fits the steering out uh, the window. Here we go, we've got the one wiper setup. Uh, if you want to add locks to your car, you can. Put a little lock on the side of it here. <laughs> this is pretty cool, eh? Add cherry cans and stuff, these are all part of the mods and everything like that. There we go. Um, that put a little lock on there, so I'm sorry. Okay. So you can either put it there, it looks good. There you go. The car design is looking absolutely awesome. So you can choose to add more, add less, color it, everything like that. So of course, we're going to add the name to the car. Made by me, so it's got to be the. Uh, Alright, so here's your engine name. So now you're going to give the car a name. Uh, what would you call this? Uh, that's probably the hard part. Giving your car a name, so we'll, we'll work it out. We're going to call it. Uh, these thingies move them in oh hang on pretty that's better nice and now they connect to the car beautiful I uh, know we, we still need a name. We're gonna call this. Call this beast. I'm also starting to think I'm probably should put the mirrors there. I uh, might actually do that. Car probably look better with the mirrors sitting on the side of the window there. Um, what mirror can we go with? Yeah, that's better. Look at that. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? Yeah, it looks so much better. Here we go. Hey, what are we going to call this car? <laughs> Does look really nice. I love to look at that already. I'm just trying to make a tutorial. Um, we call it the Red Devil. There we go. The Red Devil. There we go. So yeah, once you're happy with your car, and don't know if you want to add more vents in the side of the car here. Yeah, grill, grill, vent, 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 vent. Um, 
Yeah, some of these are really cool. They come with like, little lights in the vents and everything like that. So, um, probably put one of them in the side of it. You know, you put stick that there and. Pretty want a little window. Yeah, that's not bad. You put a window in there. Hang on. Uh, get rid of that. Where to put sunroofs? Window sunroof. Here we go. Pretty too big. So you could do that if you want. Oh, the window's open. <laughs> Go for a bubble design. I suppose we could do this, turn it around. It's got an open window. <laughs> nah. We've got a window there, so we got don't need two windows. But uh, yeah, there you go. We could probably put some venting on the roof or something. A lot of space here not used, or maybe a lettering, you know. Uh, up here. <laughs> uh, fat fingers. Oh, come on. Yeah. <laughs> Some self advertisement. Anywhere you want, put under the door. Here. <laughs> there you go. Of course, you know, you click on that, you mirror that, now it's on the other side. There we go. <laughs> He's probably doing that one actually. Does this one? Oh, there you go. You think down there would be better? Uh, this is badges gone. Badges, badges, badges. I'm for badges. Here we go. If you're not there, boy. There you go. Mirror that to the other side. And there we go. A car that you're happy with. Now, you go from here or at any other end. You click save. Save your car. 
And after this, you move it to Beam MG. That would be another game you need to get your hands on. So you're happy with your car, you just made it. All good, it's running fine. You go export car. Of course the game will do the job. Takes a few seconds of course to move the file across. Now. I'll probably save this car's performance for another YouTube video, so stay tuned for that. And all done! Confirmed! And there you go, that's how you create a car, and uh, you move it to Beam MG. Using automation, the car company by Coon Game is pretty good. So get into the campaign, and if you think you're already good at making a company and making it successful, of course, you don't have to go batshit crazy with the cars that I made. But, uh, you know, there's nothing wrong if you're making a YouTube video to go a little bit crazy. So there you go. That is the, uh, the, the Red Devil. And that is a car that we've just created. So I hope you guys like enjoy the video and um, if you've got any, any questions or anything like that, give us a call, uh, jump on the comments and give us a uh, like, share and follow and tell me what you think and uh, we'll go test this car and beam on another video and uh, we'll, we'll test its performance out. But until then, thanks for joining me and I uh, hope this game has been interesting to watch. Got all these perimeters over here, which can help you assist in building your car. Take the bonnet off. There you go. There's the engine underneath. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me and watching my video. And uh, don't forget, you can catch me on Twitch or any other of my socials, which are linked in my link tree in YouTube. And uh, hopefully, I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for joining.